Hi, my name is Abir and I'm from Skill Curve. And today we will be creating a lookup project on e-commerce. In this project, we will be creating a dashboard that looks like this. We will be having multiple different visualizations like scorecards, area graphs, line graphs, donut charts, and many others. The main purpose of this dashboard is to see the top line metrics, the customer demographics to see who are our customers, and the web analytics to see what are the customers doing on our website. So let's get started. So this is how our console looks like. And now to create the dashboard, we need to scroll down and head over to our e-commerce explore page by clicking on start exploring. Next, we will be selecting our dimensions and measure to build the scorecard. We want to see our new users acquired. To see that, we will drag the count measure from the users tab. This will give us the number of count. Next, we will set our goal. We need to click on add calculation and write in 10,000 because that is our goal we are trying to achieve. Set the format to decimal and give the name as goal and then just click on save. Now let's just click on run and if you open our visualization tab we can see our scorecard. Now let's just add some filters. Let's add created date from the order items tab and set that to 90 days. And then we will add created from users and let's leave the values as is. Now click on run. Now I'm just going to fast forward this and make some edits to this scorecard to make it more representable. Now click on save and select it to add to a new dashboard and let's name this as e-commerce and click on save. Now if you go over to our dashboard, we can see our scorecard has been created. Let's go back to our home page and select the explore for e-commerce. We will be creating two scorecards, one for the average order sale price and the other one for the repeat purchase rate. I'm going to fast forward this and show you how this can be done. Let's add another scorecard where we will be doing some calculation to see the orders this year. So first we will select the reporting period from order items and then from the order items measure we will select count. Now let's just click on add a calculation for the percentage change. To do that we will enter the formula as order items count divided by the offset of the order items count comma 1 minus 1 and we will be selecting the format as percent and give it the name as percentage change now just click on save click on run for reporting period let's just say that we want to hide this field from visualizations and then let's click on the visualization tab and from here let's select the scorecard option now we will add some filters Let's add the filter for the reporting period from the order items tab and let's set that as not null. I'm going to fast forward this and make some edits. Let's 
Let's click on save and add it to the existing dashboard and name it as orders this year. Click save. Next, we are going to make a line chart. Select the created month from the order items and then select the create month name. Now we have to add the measure total sale price from the order items and then just simply click on run. Now let's add in the filters, add in the created date from the order items and from the drop down menu select is before and for the next drop down select relative and then just type in zero for the months ago. Add another created year from the order items and set that as past four years. You can sort the created month name to ascending order. From the visualization tab, you can select the line graph. Now I will fast forward the video to make some changes and make this graph more representable. Now just click on save and add to the existing dashboard and set the name as total sales year over year. Next I will fast forward the rest of the tiles to show you the final look of the dashboard.
We have our final look of the dashboard. Now to make it more representable, we will divide them into the categories we talked about earlier. We will click on add and add a markdown. And for the title, we will write as top line metrics. And for the subtitle, we will add, are we headed to the right direction? And below this headline, we will have our graphs. Similarly, we will do the same for the customer demographics and the web analytics and place the graph appropriately. There, we have our final dashboard created. I hope that you understand how to create the visuals on Looker with dimensions and measure along with some editing. Thank you so much for watching.